Hey, how are you? It's Lily Leung, and today is day six for a joyful caregiving challenge. And I'm so happy to be here with you. I hope you have a good day. Yes, so today it was a, a day that it was a bit difficult. Um, my mom was not doing too well today. Actually, she was calling me by my dad's name. And but I know she calmed down, but I know that I I need to own to myself what I'm doing. And I know that with that difficulty and also because I was at an event, I couldn't come earlier. So the event finished just not too long ago. So yeah, so for today, I'm just going to share with you about the hardest part is when you need to give yourself some grace as you care for your parent. <clears throat> yes, even for, to for today, I have to give myself grace for taking care of my mom. And, you know, sometimes, like, yeah, today, I would say that, what do you call, sometimes you just regret the things that you, the way you react, I would say that. Um, and also because you have to remember that they don't, I mean, they're still not completely, their mind is not completely gone. So they still have some cognition. Yeah, they still have some knowledge about things. They, they can, they can still see certain things and sometimes they would just be making up stuff and and they can be very hurtful yes and sometimes it can become aggression and when they start like that sometimes I will not deal with it well sometimes i will i will pray i will ask god to help me <clears throat> throughout and i and i share this verse with you already oh this verse i'm gonna share with you if you give me permission about it so proverbs 23 22 Listen to your father who begot you, and do not despise your mother after she is old. That's so much truth, and that's from the Bible. And when they become difficult, and I know I have seen that on other people's and myself, when they become difficult, we still need to show them love. We still need to remember to their, to to honor them and respect them at the same time I would say that you should not be like doing everything for them like for example like if they are still able to do things let them be as much as independent as possible that will be good for them. I will say that it will be very good for them to be able to do that. And when they are like acting difficult, sometimes the best thing is just to pray or just put some music or let them be distracted. 
But sometimes my mom will just be focused in that one thing and she will get really stood up and be mad. Then what you do then? Just let them be mad at you and let them be. When I was taking care of my my friend's mother-in-law, she was in a well. Her memory loss was a lot, a lot deep, and she got to the point that she no longer talk or recognize people. I would say that it's hard. For me, it was very hard to see her like that. And I mean, she lasted when I was working with her. I was with her for five years, and she was in her nineties, almost hundred. A lot of people thought that she would not last that long, and they thought that she would be gone very quickly. But the fact is, she didn't, and God kept her. But nearing the end, for me, it was very hard to see her. Because she no longer was able to talk, but not only that, she was able. She was also on intensive care unit. For me, it was hard. It was much harder for me to see her with all those machines and all those things, and it was very hard for me to to see her in that in that situation. After working for so long, I, I became like kind of sentimental, and also because I was very close to her family, um, to her daughter-in-law, and her son, and and her grandchildren. Yes, I was very close to them, and that's why, for me, it was very hard. I. Uh, it's hard for me to explain. Except that it hurt for me to see her like that, and the same way it hurts me when I see my mom not doing well. Yeah, I I really don't want to be like crying. But I, I cannot help. I'm trying to not to cry, but just to think about that makes me makes me teary, and <clears throat> I really don't want to be like、um, a melodrama type of place. And yes, so I spend time with my mom. I I try to spend time with her today, having dinner just to just to spend some time with her. Um. Yes, today I I was almost all day on online watching the event, but I I was spending time with her in the morning, but she was having a hard time. Also, not only because of that, because I also made a decision to follow my dream, and from that I also know that there are some other things unseen, but. But I'm glad 
I'm glad that I got to commit to you and come here. No matter, <coughs> I'm sorry. No matter what is happening in life, it is worth to come and share with you, and to know that you have hope, and you don't have to go through this alone. No, you don't have to. Actually, we're in a community where we can share, and I encourage you, you can share, you can comment, you can introduce yourself. Some of you have not introduced yourself. Yes, you can introduce yourself. And today, I didn't, I didn't come up with, uh, what do you call, I will have a special gift. I will say that for for Monday. Yes, and I will say that as a caregiver, we do need accountability and also need to be able to talk, having a space to talk about how our days went. Sometimes we will give so much and we forget to take care of ourselves. And that's true, even for me. And today, before I even came up here, I went and took care of myself. I did took a walk just to just to help me to to think things through and also be able to focus and and be here present with you. I didn't want to come here and be half-hearted and not be here and and not being sharing with you about what's happening. But I do and that's a that's a life of a caregiver. I would say that my mom is doing a lot much better than she was before. Before it was a daily thing and I didn't know how to control my own my own emotions. And, and not only that, I did I didn't even stop and even take care of myself and and do things practical. <coughs> I'm sorry. Yes, there are some steps for you to unwind and also be able to I mean, to manage your emotions, your thoughts, your reaction, and your actions as well. It is a whole thing to go through. But when you take those steps, it is a lot better to come back and be able to, to serve and minister to your parent or loved one. I must tell you, it is not easy. It is not. Actually, it is very difficult as you go through it. But by the same time, I know that serving your friend, it is more rewarding. It is a blessing. And at the same time, you can have peace of heart that you will not regret taking care of them whether if you are at home with them or you are at a great distance I know that some of you are caregivers but you are not very close right there with your parent and that's that's all right and you, you still are participating. You still care about them. You still want to contribute and help them. You are doing what you can. And some of you, you are doing it all by yourself. You have no help. But you still could do it. 
it is doable. And some of you are having help. I would say that's a blessing. That's a blessing. And you should be thankful as well for having that other person helping you. I am not gonna get um I, I I'm happy for you. Yes, I'm happy for you. I'm not gonna be here and complain about my lack. But I know that you are so blessed by having someone helping you. And I'm so glad about it. So there is some questions that I have for you. It is that how can you show honor to your elderly loved one in practical ways? Yes, that's a question for you. That's a question that a lot of people will ask and probably Yes, and that one of the questions that someone asked me, how can you help, I mean, show honor to your elderly loved one in practical ways? I will say love on them. Yeah, love on your loved one. Take care of them as much as you can. And then the things that you cannot do for them, ask help. It's okay. And if, and sometimes you just need someone to listen to you, someone to ask questions, it is all right. You don't have to do it all, know it all. Just be glad that you have that blessing to be able to serve and take care of your parent. The second question that I have for you is, if your parent had had that problem with memory loss, find someone who walk in those shoes, ask them questions. Ask them questions and, and go further than that. Have them as your, what do you call them? as your coach, where you can ask questions, where you, you're not going to be judged. Yes, you can have that. Absolutely. You don't have to go through all of this alone. The way I went through it, I was alone, especially in the beginning time. Like now, I'm still physically doing this alone. But I sometimes I have found other people who is, who is doing this, and and it is a blessing to have conversation of other people on how they take care of their parent, because then it will give you idea on how to do this. I mean, I won't say that. That will be the same thing for one parent to the other. Because remember, you are working with individuals and different people have different needs and also different requirements uh, of how you minister to them and serve them. And that's something that you have to find out.
yes so i'm glad that i shared that with you i feel much much more what do you call relief yes i am not worried about it anymore i'm not i mean i was a little bit nervous because sometimes you just feel nervous to talk about deep stuff that goes through your life but it is necessary i would say it is necessary to to share that with you the next verse i want to share with you is don't forget you can ask me questions while i'm here or at a, i mean you can leave me questions on a post and i will try to answer you so the next thing will be if your parent no that's not i already said the question mm. the verse i wanted to share with you okay this is the second verse that i want to share with you is god is with you when you're facing difficulties and and troubles this is from isaiah 63 9 in all their affliction he was afflicted and the angel of and the angel of his presence saved them and his love and in his pity he redeemed them and he bore them and carried them all the days old yes imagine that imagine that imagine that god is carrying you carrying you carrying you through with his hand just imagine that wouldn't that be nice knowing that he is there for you And sometimes you just don't know what to do in certain situations. Isn't it nice that you can have someone who will help you through, through your biggest challenge with your parent? I do. I believe that you, you should be able to have someone to get you through where you are you don't have to go through this alone and it is something that that i believe that you should have someone but like i said to you you can use everything from the challenge for free but for those who would like to have an accountability person and also someone who can be there walking you through this, well, yes, actually, I, about, yeah, about that, I already have my own program that I already have developed <coughs> and that's why I'm sharing that with you on this challenge I just simply will remind you that that I will be touching on your uh, touching on their mental health nutritional needs yeah mental needs nutritional needs your parents practical care what they need for you to take care of them on and identify that from a need to something 
something that they can do for themselves. So you have to be able to identify those things. And number four will be self-care. You need self-care, just like me. And you don't have to be putting so much pressure on yourself and trying to figure out this thing all by yourself. You don't have to. Actually, you just have... You can have me because I'm offering to you the caregiving solution, uh, caregiving solution session that I have for you. I mean, yes, the joyful caregiving solution session that I have for you. So you have this, the two, two days on a one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching call. And we're going to be diving in into your deepest problem. And you can share with that with me. And not only that, I will give you homework about what will be your biggest problem that you need help with. And and on the and over the fifteen minutes, I will be going. I mean, ten minutes with that, then fifteen minutes about analyzing it. <laughs> and we're gonna be talking all that on the top of the hour. Yes. So we're gonna be doing that for two days, and. This is value on 240, uh, 247, but since you are in my challenge, it is only 97. Yes, it is only 97. <laughs> I do want to share with you about about my mom well right now she is sleeping so she's no longer talking about things and that's why um uh, i thought that would be the perfect time to come to share with you yes i know it's a little bit late but i wanted to come here as as long as possible i mean as soon as possible and on monday um yeah monday i will have a, a special guest and also i will say that <coughs> i'm sorry yes on monday we'll have a special guest hopefully she can make it we'll see and and remember, I have this offer until Monday midnight. Yes, Monday midnight, I'm going to close the, the cart. And on Monday, I'm going to be coming up here on 10. So it will be earlier. And I'm glad that that. I hope this was up to you and let me know in the chat what is what is your question concerns feel free to let me know thank you so much for tuning in and i know that this has been such a blessing for me to come and, and share thank you so much for being at joyful caregiving challenge i am so grateful for you have a blessed day bye